watermelons are one of my most favorite and beloved summertime foods. They're just so juicy and sweet and refreshing. And, but they're also super versatile and we can enjoy them in sweet or savory recipes. But of course, a plain piece of watermelon is just perfect all on its own. So today, I'm gonna to show you a wonderful watermelon salad with a bit of a Mediterranean flair. Hi, I'm Annette, a plant-based home chef and a volunteer with Bounty and Soul, where we connect, share, and celebrate nutritious food. We believe food is medicine, and we believe in the power of plants and whole foods. Now, you might be wondering, are watermelons really healthy? And I'm here to say, yes, they are. Watermelons are both a fruit and a vegetable and are very low in calories and loaded with vitamins and minerals. And did you know that watermelons are an excellent source of lycopene? So studies show that eating watermelons help improve heart health, lower inflammation, and help prevent certain cancers. So yes, watermelons are nutritious. So now that you know that watermelons are healthy, how do you know how to pick a great watermelon? First, rounder watermelons tend to be sweeter than the oblong watermelons, which tend to be more watery. So personally, I try to find a more round watermelon. And then there's the coloring of the watermelon. Oh, wow, this is heavy. Then there's the coloring. You wanna look for a large yellow spot, which is called the field spot. And this yellow color indicates where the watermelon sat on the ground and didn't get exposed to sunlight. And the field spot should be yellowish and creamy. And the darker the field spot, the longer the watermelon sat on the ground, on the vine, and sweetened. Next, you wanna tap on the watermelon and listen for a hollow sound. Ripe watermelons have a hollow sound to them. So, I've picked this out. Um, there's even these little brown uh, spots where the insects have helped to pollinate. The more you can get of that webbing on here, that also helps to get a sweet, good, ripe watermelon. So, let's get started making the salad. So here are the items that you're going to need. You're going to need, uh, for this recipe, you're going to need a watermelon. The next items that you're going to need is going to be uh, a cucumber. And I've sliced this with a mandolin. I got pretty thin slices. I like that. Uh, so one English cucumber. I also sliced up with the mandolin, I sliced a, a red onion, a small red onion. And here is some basil that I sliced, and here's some mint I sliced. Now at the very end, I'm going to put into it, I'm gonna put this uh, vegan feta crumbles into the salad, and that's what's gonna give us our Mediterranean flair. For the dressing, you are going to need a couple of limes and use some lime juice. You're gonna need some apple cider vinegar. Ooh, apple cider vinegar right there. And the recipe calls for agave syrup. I don't have any on hand, so today I'm going to make it with some date nectar. And then, of course, salt and pepper. That's the items that you're going, that is the items that you're going to need to make the dressing that'll go on the salad. First, I'm gonna make the dressing. And I'm in the process of moving, so all of my dishes, a lot of my dishes have been packed, so I'm just gonna make it today in, into this container here. And I'm going to take my limes and I'm just going to roll them. When you roll them like this, it helps to extract, you get more juice from them. So I'm going to roll both of my limes. And then I'm going to cut them in half. Cut them in half and then I'm going to put them in my little juicer thing here. I put it upside down like that and I push it together and the juice comes out into the container. You want about three tablespoons of lime juice. Okay. 
Okay, there's my lime juice. I'm gonna go ahead and get oh, those out of the way. Next, you're gonna need a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. There's that. And then you're gonna need that agave syrup, but today I'm using date syrup. And you're gonna need, it calls for a table teaspoon, so I'm just gonna eyeball it, put a little bit of it in there. That looks good. And then a little bit of salt and pepper, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and a little bit of pepper. And that's the extent of our um, dressing. I'm just going to whisk this all together. Let me give it a taste. Mmm, that's going to be good. I like the date um, syrup in there. It tastes good. That's our dressing for the salad. I'm going to set that aside. Now we need to cut the watermelon. There's different ways to cut the watermelon. I'm just going to cut it in half today. And uh, then I'm going to use this little scoop that I bought that I have never used before. <laughs> I'm going to cut, I'm going to use this little scoop to scoop out the watermelon and I'm going to put it into the bowl. So let's get that going now. I'm just going to cut it right in half. Let me test and see how it tastes. Mmm, very sweet. So I'm gonna go ahead and start scooping away. So I got my watermelon prepared and now, and in the bowl, and now I'm gonna add the rest of the ingredients. The first thing I'm gonna add is going to be some red onion to it. Now, you can add as much as you want to this. Um, I, you don't have to add all of it, but um, I'm going to be mixing this all up here pretty soon, and we'll see how much we need. And then I'm going to add my cucumbers to it. Again, as much as you guys, as you want. It's your salad. You make it your way. And I'm going to go ahead and toss this and see what it looks like. My bowl is a little small, <laughs> but I'll get it done. <laughs> this is a wonderful salad. Uh, one of our favorite salads to eat in the summertime. I need some more, obviously. Add some more cucumbers. Add all the rest of those. Yes, and I think I will go ahead and add some more onion. Okay, that looks good to me. I'm going to leave it like that. The next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and add that dressing. And then I'll toss it. And I'm going to go ahead now and add the mint to it. Toss that up, give it a toss. Isn't that pretty? And I'm going to add the basil to it. <clears throat> All right. There's our salad. The watermelon salad. Now you can eat it just like this. You don't have to add the feta, the 
vegan feta crumbles, but I'm going to go ahead and add a few on top. Ooh, isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? And there's our salad. Isn't that great? And look how easy it came together. And now I'm going to give it a taste. See how it tastes with that dressing and everything? I might get some of the red onion and the cucumber. Mmm. Mm. The dressing and the feta cheese really add a lot to the to the salad. I really like it. Of course, I like watermelon any time of the year. Really good. Well, I hope you like this recipe and we'll give it a try. And I want to thank all my wonderful subscribers. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and subscribe and click the bell. And that way you'll be notified every time I post a new video. And one more thing, check out my cookbook, which is available on Amazon right now. It's called Heart Healthy and Feeling Full Cookbook. And the link to it is posted below in the details. So I just need you to go out, buy the book, and I'm sure you'll enjoy all the recipes inside. Thanks for watching. Join me each week here in my kitchen where I share plant-based nutritious recipes with you. And I'll be seeing you at Bounty and Soul each week as I hand out the local produce and wish each one of you the best. This is Annette signing off for now. And remember to invest in your health by eating whole unprocessed foods.